Hello, my dear students. Welcome to our first series in education. So today, we will be talking about yellow journalism. So what is yellow journalism? Yellow journalism is a type of journalism that uses lurid features and sensationalized news on crimes and violence. The name was derived from the popular cartoon in the United States in the late 19th century, Yellow Kid. Yellow journalism was employed in the furious competition between two New York City newspapers, The Journal and The World. Joseph Pulitzer had portraits the New York World in 1883 and using colorful sensational reporting and crusades against political corruption and social injustice, he had won the largest newspaper circulation in the country. His supremacy was challenged in the 1895 when William Randolph Hertz, the son of a California mining tycoon, moved into the New York City and bought the rival journal. In 1887, William Randolph Hearst took control of the struggling San Francisco Examiner, which his father had bought in 1880 for political reasons. Hearst remade the paper into a blend of reformist investigative reporting and lurid sensationalism, and within two years, it was showing a profit. He entered the New York City newspaper market in 1895 by purchasing the dirt to pour and successful New York Morning Journal. Hertz's journal and Pulitzer's world became involved in a series of first circulation wars, and these newspapers' use of sensationalistic reporting and printed promotional schemes brought New York City journalism to a boil. The era of journalism may be said to have ended shortly after the turn of the 20th century. However, some techniques of the yellow journalism became more or less permanent and widespread among other media platforms. In today's modern world, sensationalism and exaggeration of news stories are still evident in the headlines since competition is still on among media outlets and it became part of the daily consumption of the target audience. So you see, until today, yellow journalism is still prominent with all media platforms such as in the tabloids, radio and TV broadcasting, and much more in the social media. This is still the technique used to catch the attention of their target audience and or readers. So for more information, you may visit these references. That's all for today. I hope you have learned something from this short discussion. Thank you and stay safe.